Oh, all my fluid art friends. Let me make, there's the green box. There's the green box. Okay, now let me go over here and make sure it starts up. Come on. Don't give me a 30 second delay. There we go. Now I'm, I'm just going to gonna, I'm just gonna hit the volume to leave that, to leave this up. Well, I don't really need to leave this up. Uh, let me do, skip that. I'll, I'll leave it up anyway. Who knows who's going to show up? But this is a very, very impromptu live. I'm at Miss Sally's house today. Wave at the camera with your hand, Miss Sally. There we go. And I am teaching. No, you need a you need a your bigger cup on there first. Oh, we got to okay. do the pouring medium first. We are oh, doing a lesson in mixing the pouring medium because I finally got around to bringing over Sally's. Um, Get, uh, gift that she won, which is the pouring medium, okay? And then, oh, we need your flow troll. Where's your flow troll? Okay, there we go. That's been strained. Yep. Okay. Um, first, we're going to mix the pouring medium. We're each going to mix 10 ounces, and then I'm going to make her some more before I leave. Um, and then we're going to do a painting with it, because I brought her some cups, and... We're going to paint on some, um, see, nobody's here. Ah, hello, Patricia. How are you, honey? Sorry you can't see us. I only have one camera up. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Um, I have one camera up, and you're going to see what we're doing, but you won't see us. Okay, um, let me see. Okay, you're pouring medium first, okay? Since you're only mixing 10 ounces, you're only going to need 4 ounces of this. Oh, do you have a, do you have a strainer? In the flow troll. No, 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 that's no. not going to work. No. And hello, Jan, and hello, Melinda. Hello, Justine, and hello, hello, everybody. Sorry that I didn't, I knew I was coming over today to her house. For, um, to give her her kit and to show her how to use it. Um, so anyway, um, well, let's see. Uh, tear me off a paper towel. We're going to tear me off a piece of paper towel. Okay. We're going to do a little temporary strainer real quick. Okay. So what I'm doing mm. is, is I'm going to put the cup on there. Okay. Now, normally, normally my, um, here, let me turn it sideways so you can, no, you still can't, well, can you see it? No, you can't see it, so you'll just have to, <gasps> Blair, oh my God, oh my God, I am so happy to see you, oh, I'm sorry, everybody, I haven't talked to Blair <laughs> The longest time. Oh, honey, it's Perfect so good day. to see you. But let me get back to the lesson, okay? This is a temporary strainer because the Flotta Molsa Bond does have some rather nasty boogers in it. So, I'm going to measure into here four ounces. Wait a minute. Yeah, four ounces because 20 ounces... Don't worry, don't worry, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There we go, there we go. Okay, well, don't pull down on it, don't pull down on it, because okay. it, it... I didn't think to bring my strainer. It's not going through the napkin, so this is not working, okay? Well, it's a, it's a lesson, so if there's some yeah. little boogers in yeah. there, it's... Okay, there we go. Um, you want to throw this in the garbage? Okay, let me add a little bit more of the emulsibond. Uh, well, it's a little over four, but that's okay. Let's see who else is here. Hello, Linda. And hello, Fiona. This is an impromptu live, Fiona. My uh, friend Sally, you guys have seen her in the chat, Sally Hayes, okay? 
Um, I'm at her house today, and we are doing um, Fiona flowers with the uh, kit, and I'm making, I'm mixing up her kit for her, okay? Did you lose the stream? I see you in the chat, Jan. Let me go over here and see if I'm still streaming. Yeah, it's still going. It's still going. Ah, oh, thank you, Blair. Thank you, Blair. Wait, wave at Fiona, Sally, because Fiona is the one that invented this technique. Hello, hello, ladies. I'm glad to be here. I've got a good teacher here. Okay. Since we're only making up 10 ounces, that's a little over four, but don't worry about it, okay? Now we're going to add five ounces of the flow troll. So I'm going to take it up to nine. Or close to nine, I should say. Or maybe a little over nine, okay? That's not, okay, a little over nine. And the last ingredient, which is in an Elmer's glue all bottle because it's hard to pour out of the bucket. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. I don't have to shake it. <laughs> is one ounce. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me you glued shut. There we go. <laughs> Pro tip. Whenever you have something in a bottle with a screw lid and you pour out of it, make sure you wipe that off really, really good before you put your lid back on or it might screw it or glue itself shut. Okay, now we're gonna add an ounce to take it a little over 10. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Wipe it off. Okay, now take a stick and mix away, woman. And I'm gonna do my half of the kit. Hello, Shannon, and hello, Elisa. Sorry I didn't text you guys before this, okay? Call the flow troll police. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I'm going to mix mine real quick. Because then we're going to mix the paints, okay? I am so glad to see pickles here. It... I, I want to call you later, Blair, okay? I want to call you later on Messenger. If, do you still have Messenger? And do you have it on your phone where we can do a phone call over um, over Messenger? I just want to tell you how much I miss you. Looks, looks like an eggnog shake. <laughs> Huh? This looks like an eggnog shake. Yeah, it does. See, that's the one problem with the Emulsabon, but um, Christina Welch has come up with another one that doesn't, another pouring medium mixture to do this that doesn't use Emulsabon. And of course, it's wider. It's also a little thinner, too. Okay, I took that up to nine. Now I'm going to add... An ounce of this there we go wipe off my threads so I don't glue my lid shut let's see who else is here uh, I said hi Shannon I said hi Elisa oh hi Tater hi Zoe Tater good boy is Tater good boy I do that all the time the Tater <laughs> One of these days, he's going to hear me, and he's going to he's gonna bark. Okay. Well, you know what? We don't need this right now, so let me get this out of the way so we have more room. And we don't need this right now. And we can put the lid back on this. That's good. That's good. Okay. Now, can I have a stick you, to mix mine? You can use this one. Okay. Do the same thing. That's a clean end. Okay. This is 10 ounces. Doesn't look like it, though. It registers 10 ounces. So, I don't know what else to say, you know. It registers as 10 ounces, okay. Okay, now, we need little cups and little sticks for them and the paint. Okay, but first, we're going to do... The Amsterdam and the Pearl. Okay, I need a stick for this because... Um, Look at your clean sticks. Okay. Let's see who else is here. Oh, 
No, I'm not growing two more legs. I'm getting too big of a belly as it is. I don't know how long of a lie this is going to be, but you know, bear, bear with us, okay? Um, to make your pearl with my pouring medium, which is the USA version of Fiona's, is I'm only going to do three ounces of the pearl. So it takes a half ounce of the titanium white, okay? And then we're going to add a half ounce, 3 point, okay. Is that, no, that's not ounces, that's grams. That's what's wrong. There we go, there's ounces. Okay, there's ounces. So that may not be 10 ounces, <laughs> that may be 10 gram, or 100 grams. Okay. All I'm doing is, is I'm adding some paint until I get it up to close to 500. So, that's close enough. Okay, here's this. You're going to do the same on a cup, okay? So let's see who's here. Oh, hello, Mona. Nice to see you. Yeah, I'm just um, um, teaching. Um, this is just an impromptu live. I'm over at Sally Hayes' house. We're in her basement, so it's not my studio, and I only brought one camera with me. What do I? Um, yeah, that, uh, just a hair bit more. Okay, yeah, that's good. Now just go ahead and scrape your stick off. Okay, now we're going to, oh, I don't know why I'm shaking it. And hello, <laughs> Nita. Nice to see you, honey. I know what, I know it's morning out there for you. Okay, she's got a half ounce of the Amsterdam Titanium White. Now I'm going to add a half ounce of the Vallejo Pearl, okay? And... You're gonna use your stick. You can use the white one if you, the white one you just mixed okay. with to do that. Okay. And where's that white paint? Um, because I need a little bit more. I'm looking to see if anybody else came in the chat. I'm so glad you guys took a little bit time out on your Saturday, which it's probably pretty weather where you're at. Um. To come watch me teach Sally how to do this. Now I'm just going to put my stick in there, which is going to register more. But you just take into account when you're doing that. Okay, uh, I'm going to zero it out. I'm going to add a half ounce. So I'm taking it up to 0.5. Okay, now, something I want you to do, um, since yours is mixed, um, let's, um, um, oh, <laughs> are you bugging your mom, Justine? I don't think our pouring medium's right, okay, so, we may not have had enough, uh, ingredients in there, so, let me add this to the cup, okay? We'll still be able to use it. Don't worry about that, okay? It'll still be usable, but I'm going to mix up another batch with the ounce on there. Another cup? Huh? No, 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 no. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you. I hope you didn't trip over anything or scare the dogs or cats. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Justine, for telling Mama. Although I wasn't, you know, I didn't know if I would really have any uh, mods today. Okay, I'm making a fresh batch of pouring medium to make sure that it's all in here. 
uh, the right way. Four ounces of emulsibon. Okay, well, yeah, that's good. Okay. Let's see. Yes, I'm at Sally's house. Sally Hayes. Everybody knows her from the chat. Okay, now I'm going to put five. See, look at that. Four ounces is a lot more than what that was. <laughs> That's okay. I will fix that one over there. Now I'm adding five ounces of the flow troll. I don't know what the grams equaled out to. So I'm taking this up to not, right around nine ounces. Okay. Oh, let me put this. Did you mix mine? Did you mix mine? Oh, I don't know. Can you can you, yeah, can you oh, mix it real quick while I'm fixing gotcha. this one? Gotcha. Okay, let's see who else is here. Yes. This is Sally's house. Her basement technically. It's not Studio B. <laughs> okay. I think Studio B is just gonna be for storage. Because I was going to use Studio B for resin, but it's a little awkward out there to do it. There it is. Okay. Oh, no, no, it's oh, fine. It's okay. fine. Um, okay. Ah. Now, let me mix this up. And zero out the scale um, put one of the cups on there and zero it out we've got one ounce of the titanium white and oh hello sweet Janice I'm sorry this is so impromptu that I didn't even text anybody okay so I apologize about that Okay. I see brown bits, but we'll have to yeah. deal with it. Okay. I'm going to remix this because they were both put together. Okay. Uh, well, hang on a second. Okay. okay. You zero out your cup. You got one ounce of Amsterdam Titanium White, one ounce of the Vallejo Pearl Medium, not the Sergeant Art one because it is not all that great. Okay. And there's the Amsterdam. One ounce in there, so now we're going to add two ounces of pouring medium. So I'm going to take it up to, Rook. well, you know what? These are three ounce cups. I forgot that. <laughs> we'll put it in here. Yeah, put that over here. Let me see how much is in there. Oh, it's close. Well, you know what? This one's close enough. Um, here, I'll let you mix that one slowly. I'm going to add two ounces in here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Enough, a big one. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Just put it off <laughs> to the side. She found a big um, emulsion booger. Hi, Angela. Nice to see you, honey. And hello, Cynthia. Nice to see you here. And I know this is early for Cynthia, too, because Cynthia's a night owl. And it's um, just barely noon out there. Okay, I am taking this out of this small cup to mix it into a bigger cup so it doesn't slosh over the edges. And then as soon as I get it mixed, I will show you the consistency. If you want to scrape that into a bigger cup so it's easier to mix. That's so fine. Because that mm -hmm. is okay there we go okay let's see 
Yeah, but we don't have any pantyhose here right now, and I, mm -hmm. I don't wear them, so. <laughs> Me either. So, I am mixing the one ounce of the pearl mixture, which is a half ounce of titanium white, and a half ounce of the Vallejo pearl medium, and I'm mixing it with two ounces of the pouring medium, okay? Which the pouring medium is, um, we made 10 ounces, so I did four ounces of uh, Mulsa Bond, uh, five ounces of Floetrol, and one ounce of Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, which is the light green label, which is the easiest way for me to figure that out. I would put it in a, you sure you don't want to put it in a bigger cup? No, fine. I mean, I'll get you some more cups while we're, we're going, we're going art shopping. Okay, uh, let's see. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's the consistency of the white pearl. Okay, now, we're not making much, many colors, so I'm going to put a half ounce of paint in a cup, and we're going to put, um, um, we're going to put an ounce of the pouring medium on top of it because the paint is mixed the same way, which is, um, which is uh, uh, one part paint to two parts pouring medium. And we're doing small 8 by 10s as flowers. Oops. Came out before I was ready. So... Okay, there we go. There's a half ounce. See, I knew this was going to take, um, no, no knee highs either. Well, I don't think it made a small amount and disappeared. I'm not sure if it did or not. Okay, there is a half ounce in there. Now I'm going to take it up at an ounce, which will take it up to an ounce and a half. And I'm, then I'm going to give it to Miss Sally to mix to save time. And I think we're just going to do hers. Okay, there we go. We're just going to do hers on the live. Um, hey, we got a lot of shopping to do. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of shopping to do. You know us crafters. You get us in a Michaels or Hobby Lobby and we are bound and determined. Okay, now I'm mixing up an orange that she wanted. They, these are all uh, folk art paints. This was the Folk Art Extreme Glitter Robin's Egg Blue. Okay, focus. Nope. Well, you, you can... You, you, <laughs> it doesn't really need to focus. Okay, now I'm adding a half ounce of this. And then after we get the paints mixed... Come on. We're gonna do we're gonna do a flower. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. Any day now. There we go. There we go. Okay, let me see if anybody else showed up. Uh um, I don't know if that one may I don't know. Let me see if this one makes a small mound. I don't think it does. Oh, I see a flow troll booger. Mm -hmm. That's a little flow troll booger. These are probably a little thinner than we really should do them. Um, this is the uh, Robin's Egg Blue. They're craft paints, so they're a little thinner is what the problem is. Might have to do craft paints as a one-to-one -one ratio, but we'll find out here in a minute when we go to mix. It's a learning process. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and yeah. Go ahead and take that. Uh, let's see. Any other questions? Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't see any questions. Is there any questions about what we're doing? I saw Linda's. We're out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Okay, now we're going to mix up a half ounce, well, an ounce and a half. A half ounce of, uh, this is 
I can't read it upside down, so let me get the paint out first. Come on. Come on, any day now. <laughs> Okay, ah, there we go. Okay, let me see. Well, hello, Renee. How are you? Thank you for coming in on this beautiful Saturday to watch us play with paints and me teach Sally how to, um, how to mix this. We are mixing up the colors for a Fiona flower pour, which is basically... Fiona's the one that's the queen of it, and this is my USA version of her pouring medium that I found um, things here in the States. Oh, well, here, I'll let you mix that one. Okay, now the last color I need to mix, uh, there's your white, okay. We're using this acrylic paint for the white base, okay. Um... And it's mixed also two to one. So what I want to do is, is I want to put the lap. Uh, I found another flow troll booger or emulsibon booger. Okay. I want to see how much pouring medium we have left. So I'm going to put the pouring medium in first and then half of that amount add the paint. So, let's see. Because we're not going to need that much. For, were you? She, well, we're only doing one canvas because I didn't mix up enough uh, pouring medium for two. Because I don't know what the consistency is of the other one. Okay. So, that's three, almost three and a half ounces. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, that's three and a half ounces, so... Oh, this is very, very... Thin. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> so, this is... This is this stuff is pretty thin. So, instead of doing it... Um, Let me add an ounce and a half. So let me zero it out. And let me mix, let, let's mix that. And see how, what the consistency is of that. I have never used this paint before. Okay, now. Um, so let's see. Now it's gonna look when you add white paint to the emulsibon. I'm trying to get it on camera good enough. When you add white paint and you have the emulsibon in there, the emulsibon is like a tannish color, as you can see in the in the cup. Um, oh wait a minute, let me turn it this way. As you can see in the cup, it's a tannish color. Yeah, here we go. Um, but it dries clear. So it might be turning your 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 white paints a little dingy looking, I guess you could say. I don't know. Um, but don't worry about. It. Okay, here, go ahead. Uh, let me see. Let me see what the consistency is. Okay, where's that napkin for flow troll boogers? Yeah, you win. I don't see much more. This is pretty thin, which is what Fiona uses a lot. And Fiona's always not yelling at me, but telling me I have my base coat too thick. Uh, uh, we are doing a Fiona flower. Oh, hello, Trey. Nice to see you, honey. This is an impromptu live. 
Trey, you know her too, Sally Hayes. You've seen her over at, on the channel before. Okay, uh, put your canvas down. Okay. I feel honored everybody's here. It seems yeah. Right. Uh, put some gloves on. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's a Fiona flower today. And while she's doing her base coat, um, I'm going to go get the cups and the napkins. So, put a thin layer down and move it around. You can use this stick. Or you can use that too, but it's so thin that it should be able to um, uh, move around on its own. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to find the box that had the cups and the napkins. I don't know where I put it at. <laughs> oh. There, there, there. <laughs> I found it. I found it. I put it over here. Duh. Okay. My daughter hasn't put it up yet, but okay. Uh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Now you're going to want it to be thin. So you can spread it out with that, but um, my best thing to tell you is to let it drip back into the cup. Okay. Okay. This is a Fiona flower cup. Uh, my daughter will be having these on her on her Facebook page soon. It'll be a public post, so you don't have to be friends with her. There you go. Well, you can turn it the other way too. Um, and let me get rid of this one little, I almost had it, almost had it. There yeah. we go. Okay, uh, now don't make it too thin, okay? So go ahead and put that down. And I don't know if you got enough paint on there now. Let me, let me. Yeah. Because you want it to be a thin, even coverage with no flow troll boogers in there. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Knock you off the stick. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, I will just put that down there. Okay. Now... She's got her base coat down. Thank you so much, Elisa. And hello, Mary Lou. Nice to see you, honey. Oh, Mary Lou says, Sally, you are brave. <laughs> <laughs> I just enjoy experimenting. Okay. Uh, is she brave for going live? Because she's went live with me once before, remember? Yeah. A couple years ago. Okay. Now... Fiona likes to mark it so she knows where her center's at, but it's okay, okay? Um, That's good. Okay, now, I'm going to pour one color so you can see how much you, how much it takes, okay? So, and because we got a white background, you don't want to start with the white pearl, no, okay? No. And I don't think we're going to have enough room to turn the cup a t uh, quarter turn. So, oops. Okay, let me do this. I'm not left-handed, but I can do it this way so everybody can see. You want to slowly pour it in the middle of the cup and kind of go around a little bit for it to come over the edge. Okay, there we go. Oh. I need a little bit more right there for that one, okay? And then whenever you do a color, you don't have to let... I always let my first layer get to the bottom, but the rest of them I don't, okay? Okay, now this is her pearl, okay? So we're going to put a little bit of pearl in there. And I usually stop with the pearl when I start seeing it go... When it's about halfway down because I have 
up. Oh, well, that one beat it, beat everybody. Okay, now go ahead. Uh, you go ahead and do your next color. Oh, should I do orange or the darker blue? That's up to you. Oh, let's go for it. That's up to you, honey. Okay, slowly, slowly. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. Yeah, that last little drip just takes forever. Nope, use white pearl next. Okay. While I look at the chat. Yeah, she's went live with me. Um, she's went live with me before Mary Lou. I hope everybody can see that okay. Um, yeah, now go ahead and do that one. And then we'll do a couple more. Um, we'll do another go around of the colors and see where it ends up at. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that last little drip takes forever to come off the bottle. Oh, I don't know. What? Okay, I, I'm just curious. Why does the cup flip, Mary Lou? Is it when you pick it up to turn it? I see it. I see it. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for a little stick to get rid of it. Where is it? Is that it right there? Yep, there it is. There it is. Thank you. Okay, um, sorry that I messed up your paint. But okay. Now, yeah, go ahead and do another layer of color. I don't know how long we've been on. Let me see. Oh, just, just a little over a half hour. Oh, welcome back, Shannon. Blair, is it okay for, I didn't read that in the chat. Is it okay for me to call you on Messenger later just to say hi to you? Okay, let me know if that's okay to do. I am still going live tomorrow, but I'm not doing Fiona flowers tomorrow. I am doing a marble pour. Um, and I'm going to do mine inspired by Wiggles art, a marble pour of his, uh, from about a year ago. Okay, there you go. Oh, we might be able to turn it. Let me see what this is. I don't even know what that, no, I don't even know what that was. Okay, <laughs> pearl. Oh, okay. Um, I will give you a call on messenger a little later after this live because i have missed you so much blair i really have can you see that i'm a monetized blair and b i have over 2,000 followers i love you guys i absolutely love you guys i have 2093 uh um, friend, good friends on, on YouTube, but you know, this COVID thing is what kept me going. Okay. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and do a little layer of that. Um, do you have a straw down here? No. Okay. You don't need a straw, but I like using a straw cause I don't like getting my nappy head in the camera, <laughs> but I'll show you what you do before you turn it. Cause we are going to turn it. Okay. okay. I usually do it with a straw, but you blow lightly down in the middle to kind of push all the paint out. Here, here, here. Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it. I want to get all over here. See, everybody else has the problems of getting the girls in the, in the painting. I don't do boob paintings. I do hair paintings. <laughs> okay, now, see where the, where the paint is at in the sixth side? Yep. I always pick it up. And turn it one little turn to get those little paints matched up now with in between the petals. Right. Now you want to start with the same color as before, and we're just going to do one go around, which okay. will be that pearl, the orange, a pearl, and the other okay. blue, and a pearl. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see what's going on in the chat. Well, you know what, Renee, that marble pour. I will be honest about it. It's been around for like five years or even longer. 
okay? Um, um, in acrylic painting, okay? Because acrylic painting's been around for a long time, okay? Um, but um, you got paint on your hair today. Well, I normally, see, that's why, that's another reason why I don't bend over my paintings to blow because my hair gets in the way, you know. Okay, let's see how Sally's doing. There we go. You got it. See? You don't want the paint to run away from you, but you want, you know, you want to get um uh, get it even. So sometimes, you know, you can see one side a little less than mm -hmm. than has a little less than another side. That's okay, okay? Now, you got to remember this is her first one. Um I have a couple announcements to make too. Besides me going live tomorrow, um, do you want to do a layer of white pearl or no? All right, yeah. Okay, and then I will let you blow into the middle. If you have, do you have the breath? You bet. Okay, you just want to blow straight into the middle to get all the paint that's in that little dip. Right. To blow out. Okay. Um. I am going live tomorrow. I'm doing another marble pour, but I got a special live Tuesday night on my channel. It is a 420 birthday party. Well, you might want to blow just a little harder than that. Well, I wouldn't. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, now at this point, you pick up the cup without dropping it, and you put it off to the side. Now, we need a clean end of a stick. Oh, there you go. She's got, she's got her little stick, okay? And basically what you're going to do is, I just do this because I see Fiona do it. It's not my idea, it's Fiona's idea, but I always go out from the outer petals, and you use a napkin to wipe off your stick, okay? And basically, that's all you do. And then what you're going to do with these is you're going to go down the middle of these and then just go this way to make them into hearts. You see what I mean? Do all the outer ones first and wipe it off in between each one. Okay. Start about right here and then just go straight. There you go. And always wipe it off in between each pass. Uh, hello, Gina Bina. Yep, it is. Um, Gina, it's Julie's birthday party Tuesday night. I'm going live. I'm going to actually break out my StreamYards program. <laughs> and go live from StreamYards and have Julie right next to me. And she's going to be my guest that night. I'm not doing the clocks that night. I know I had promised a few people I would do the centers on the clocks, and I will. I may make an impromptu live in the middle of the week just to do that. Um, but um, Tuesday night, this Tuesday, yep, there you go. There you go. There you go. Is that it? Uh, One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. You know, you've done it when you see the mm -hmm. when you see the uh, heart shape in there. Okay. okay. Okay, now, napkin time. Do you have a little spray bottle of water down here? Uh, I can get one. Um, well, you don't, you know what? You don't have to no, do the it. third drawer down to your right there. Third drawer, there's a purple spray bottle. And here's the water. This one? Third drawer down, yeah. Oh, third drawer. Oh, no, that's not it. There we go. Okay. Purple spray bottle. There's some water. Sorry about this. Um... Ah, uh, Elisa, I will do it. I will do it. It's it's the uh, it's the two gifts for um for um um t it's the clocks I'm giving to Tish and Brooke, and I just wanted to do the thing where I put that in there. Now, at this point, this is up to you. Okay, 
But I always take off my gloves because okay. they've got paint on them. But yeah. you don't you don't have to. No, I will. Oh. I will. I'm well, right. Okay. Now, here's the napkin. This is a bounty napkin, not a paper towel. It's a napkin. It's a one ply. Uh, I think it's 12 by 12. Okay. Now, I'm trying not to spray on the canvas. And you want to just lightly mist it just to soften it is what Fiona says. Just to soften it. Okay. Now, I'm going to do this one, and then you're going to get to practice when you do more, okay? Mm -hmm. So, make sure you always have the corners that you would open up, up at the top. I've seen people put them down the other way, and it don't mm -hmm. work, okay? Oh, I didn't want to tell you, but, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. If you're not happy with the way the center looks, what Fiona taught us to do is basically pick up a little paint and drag it that way you know mm -hmm. if you want to change the design okay let me move this okay so basically you got that center seam and you know where the center of the flower is at so you put that down and then i let the two sides drop okay up oh, got paint on it from that <laughs> i'm gonna have to use another napkin just to wipe <laughs> my fingers <laughs> Okay, then you want to open it up, and then I usually let it slowly drop. Okay, now, I'm going to tell you something. I see no air bubbles. But if you get air bubbles where you can see that it's not touching the paint, you can do this to tap it down. You want to do it very, very gently. You do not want to smash it into the paint. Okay. The way to pick it up is you do two opposite corners. You bring them together, but you hold them about right here. Okay. You don't hold them up way high. Okay. Then you bring in a third corner. Then you bring in another corner. Okay. Then the four sides, I always separate them as best I can and then grab the middle and bring it up, okay? And the whole time you've got to hold this down here. You don't want to pull it up yet until you've got all four corners and four sides pulled in. Then you bring this one in. Then you bring this one in. And then... I usually grab a hold of it a little lower and you want to pull straight up and there you oh, go I love it. now it's a little off center but that could be um do you have a torch just that oh it. that's all okay um i don't know if that's let me see she all she's got is a heat gun so let's i didn't it's think it's gonna to, be plugged in oh Okay, I guess I better do that, huh? Um, of course, oh, there's the plug. I think, yeah, that's the right yep. plug. Okay, let me plug this in. Half. Okay. Uh, let me see. I was trying to read the chat. If there was any questions, I haven't been able to look. Okay, um... This is an antique heat gun. I did turn up the temperature all the way, but I only have it on the low air. This is the, it's just the heat to pop any air bubbles. We are getting the effects, okay. Okay. The only other thing, let me stand this up so it doesn't burn anything. The only other thing you have to do now, see how you got some paint missing here that mm -hmm. the napkin picked up? Yep. This is where you take your white paint and you smooth some on there to give it some more paint where the napkin picked it up. Okay. And at this point, if you 
want to spread it out some more, it's good to use a cake spinner, okay? But then that means you better have a clean area around it <laughs> <laughs> or paint will fly everywhere. Yep. But we will figure out something down here. If you want to set up a cake spinner, we'll figure out something that you can do down here to contain yeah, it. Yeah, I want to get one. Okay. Oh, let me do this. Maybe Michael's or Hobby Lobby has one. Yeah, they're a little expensive there. I'm sure everybody in the chat agrees about that. Okay. okay. Um, now, see, I'm going to tilt it this way just a little bit. Yes. Only because... Oh, I can see it needs some more paint. Um, now, it's going to skew it. It's going to skew it. So it's going to stay off center, but... All right. First one. Yep. Yeah. Can anybody remember their first uh, try at this? Because I can tell you something. My tries were bad. I'm practicing on doing some pseudo swipes for Tuesday night. They look bad, too. Let's see. Anybody else that's here? Uh, let's see. Video... Wait a minute. Video is gone. I... St oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what it is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I accidentally did something to the camera. Um, no, I did something to the camera. Oh, when you plugged it back. When I... There we go. Okay, okay. I just had to deactivate. Um, can you hear it now? Can you see me now? Okay, how about the picture? I, it looks good on my end. How about the picture? I gotta wait for the lag. Okay, there we go. I had to wait for the lag to catch up. Okay, I'm going to do my best. See, we're do almost done, okay? But I'm gonna do my best to bring this up as close as I can get it, okay? Okay, I think, you want to do me a favor, grab that canvas so I don't drip on it. The other canvas we were going to do was sitting right below the camera and I'm afraid of dripping on it. So, there we go. Sorry that it's sideways uh, or, or a little off, you know, not straight on, but this is Sally Hayes' very, very first... Fiona flower and I think that she did wonderful I love the colors. Um, <laughs> I didn't know how the colors would really turn out but it did now um, your paint cups I'm gonna when we get off camera I'm gonna show you how you cut pieces to put over that okay mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna this concludes the lesson I wanted everybody to come in and watch Sally do this live for the first time uh let's see um linda says congrats sally better than mine nita says nice lacing mary lou says um great job blair says beautiful Mima and sally uh i lost it uh, up there i saw somebody say pretty colors uh shannon says what Congrats, Sally, and Mel, Melinda says, great job, Sally. Oh, I didn't even think of that. It's a Miami Dolphins flower. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Blair. Thank you, Blair. Okay, so listen, um, I'm going to let you all go tomorrow, 12 noon Central Time, okay, because um, I'm in Wisconsin. Um, oh, and um, Jan, the... Um, um, Ma'am Gustian uh, says, um, great flower, well done. Renee says, uh, great job. So, um, 
I was just reading that to her. But you know what? Tomorrow, she'll be able to see the live chat on the replay. This concludes our programming cue test pattern. <laughs> <laughs> so, I will be live tomorrow at 12 noon. I want to thank everybody that showed up today. And yes, Sally's a very, very brave person for doing this. Okay. Oh, hi, Jeff B. Hey, oh. shoot. I can never do it right. Um, there we go. Hail Jeff B. That's the only way I can do a Vulcan salute with my hand. <laughs> um, oh, you're very welcome, Gina. Um, and I will I will do a recorded video uh, maybe Monday. Maybe I'll do a short live Monday afternoon showing how to put the clock movements in the clocks that you make with the cupcake mold, cupcake tray molds. Okay. Because that's not going to be a very long live. And then, um, and, um, but I will be live tomorrow at 12 noon. And I promise I will do the clock movements video. And don't forget my Tuesday live. Yeah, emoji's easier, but I can't type emoji from OBS. <laughs> I'd have <laughs> to get on my phone to do it. Um, and I do have a special live Tuesday night. It's a 420 birthday party. I will have a special guest whose birthday happens to be on 420. And I'm going to send to my moderators uh, some links of hers for you guys to put in the chat um, during, during my live Tuesday. Because in case anybody would like to give Julie E. a birthday present that way. Um, and so I'll see you guys tomorrow, 12 noon Central Time, which is about uh, uh, 20, roughly 21 hours from now, if that gives you any idea, okay? So thank you guys for coming out. You want to wave with me? I love you guys. Thanks, everybody. And um, um, have a great rest of your day. I love the fluid arts right out of you, and all I can say is, Bye for now.